I am YouTuber FZappa20 and you are about to watch a video by the Jammin' Music Man, a guy that I once described as the nicest dude on the internet. I'm sticking to that statement. You'll see it in the videos here. He brings a sincere enthusiasm on every subject he hits. Music, wrestling, movies, whatever it is. His videos are fun like you're about to see right now. What's up guys, it's me Jamming Music Man, welcome to my special new video and in this video I'm going to be reviewing the recently released, the true story of the Royal Rumble. Basically I'm just going to give you my review of the documentary, let you guys know what matches come with this 3 disc set and whether or not I recommend you picking it up or not. But first off, let's talk about the documentary. The documentary, I give it 5 stars, I highly uh, enjoyed watching the documentary. I love learning about the history of the Royal Rumble and how it came to be. Basically, you know, for 20 years now, uh, us wrestling fans have come to know the Royal Rumble as the pay-per-view that leads to the road to WrestleMania. But during the early years of the Royal Rumble, basically, you just won the Royal Rumble. But basically, we learned that uh, basically, the Royal Rumble was created by none other than Pat Patterson, not Vince McMahon. And it was during the mid to late 80s where the WWF would do like Saturday night main event specials on NBC when uh, Saturday Night Live was uh, having a repeat. And Vince McMahon and Dick Eversall, who was the president of NBC, you know, they were friends, you know, they were business partners. And basically, Pat Patterson had been pitching this idea to Vince McMahon of, what if we had like a, a, a television special that uh, it was a battle royal, but it was a battle royal like you've never seen before. It would start off with like two men, and then every two minutes, another wrestler would come in, and then... Every other two minutes, another wrestler would come in and it would consist of like 30 wrestlers. And Vince McMahon just kind of, he kind of thought it was just a stupid idea. But it wasn't until Vince McMahon and Pat Patterson and Dick Ebersol were in like a meeting. And Vince McMahon told uh, Dick Ebersol, you know, or he, basically Vince McMahon told Pat Patterson, why don't you tell Dick Ebersol about your idea of this Battle Royal, and uh, basically Pat Patterson pitched the idea to Dick Ebersol, and Dick Ebersol, you know, he loved the idea. He thought it was great, and uh, the first Royal Rumble uh, it debuted on television, not pay-per-view, on TV. I believe it was the USA Network in 1988, and of course, the first Royal Rumble winner was none other than Ho! Hacksaw Jim Duggan. That's right, the American icon himself, Hacksaw Jim Duggan. But it wasn't until a year later in 1989, yeah, that's right, the 1989 Royal Rumble, that was the first Rumble pay-per-view. Because if you think back in the mid to late 80s, WrestleMania was a big success. And then later came the Survivor Series. So the WWF... They were looking to add more pay-per-views uh, to their calendar. So they had the Royal Rumble, WrestleMania, SummerSlam, and Survivor Series. And also during the documentary, uh, you know, we learned about the early years of the Royal Rumble. Basically, you just won the Rumble, and it wasn't until uh, the 1992 Royal Rumble that was uh, something different that no wrestling fan had ever seen before. Basically... Uh, the title was stripped at this point in time, and Ric Flair won that year's Royal Rumble, and he became the WWF champion. But it wasn't until a year later in 93 when Yokozuna won that year's Royal Rumble. That was the beginning of the whole, if you win the Royal Rumble, you get a shot at the WWF champion at WrestleMania. And, you know, that's what we've come to know for 20-something years now. But uh, I highly enjoyed this documentary, like I said. And also you get some behind-the-scenes stuff of what was happening at the 2016 Royal Rumble. Because if you guys don't remember, AJ Styles made his debut at the 2016 Royal Rumble. And, you know, I got to see AJ Styles 
like a couple of weeks before he made his WWE debut, if you guys remember. And also, you get some behind-the-scenes stuff with Becky Lynch, who took on Charlotte at the Royal Rumble. And, of course, this 2016 uh, Royal Rumble was completely different. Basically, Roman Reigns, who was the WWF champion, had to defend his uh, World Heavyweight title in the Royal Rumble. But as we know, Triple H ended up winning, but I kind of like that whole idea of having to defend your title in the Royal Rumble. So, you know, maybe they'll uh, continue to do that. But uh, like I said, I highly enjoyed this documentary. And if you're a wrestling fan, you probably are going to love it too. But right now, I'm going to show you guys what it looks like on the inside of the Royal Rumble uh, 3D All right, you guys, there you see you get a good look. At the front cover of the True Story of the Royal Rumble, as you can see, it's a three-disc set. And as you can see on the cover, you get a bunch of legendary, classic wrestling superstars in the ring. And on the back, this is what it looks like on the back. Basically, basically you get a, a, a description of uh, what comes along with the set. Uh, and then you see you get some pictures of... Uh, the Ultimate Warrior taking on Sergeant Slaughter and uh, The Rock. He's got somebody in the sharpshooter. But uh, I'll show you guys what it looks like on the inside. There you see you got The Undertaker, Stone Cold, Triple H, Sheamus, uh, Yoko Zuna. But this is what it looks like on the inside. Pretty sweet collection right here. And then you see right here what comes on disc one. Disc one is the documentary. Disc two, uh, you get some of the matches on here. And then disc three, you get some more matches. But uh just wanted to show you guys what it looks like on the inside. All right, you guys. Right now, I'm going to give you the list of matches that come with uh, the true story of the Royal Rumble set. Basically, this one is the documentary. This two includes the first ever Royal Rumble from 1988. Uh, this is when Hacksaw Jim Duggan won. Also, you get from the 1991 Royal Rumble, the Rockers taking on the Orient Express. Great match. Love the Rockers. And uh, the Orient Express, that's a tag team you don't hear a lot of people uh, talk about you know always kind of like the Orient Express back then uh, also you get for the WWF championship from the 1991 Royal Rumble you get uh, Ultimate War defending the belt against Sergeant Slaughter and for all you 90s kids you might remember this is during the time when the US was getting ready to go to war with Saddam Hussein in Iraq so of course you know the WWF had to include the Iraq War storyline uh, with the WWF. Because if you remember Sergeant Slaughter, he had become an Iraqi Saddam Hussein sympathizer. And, you know, classic 90s stuff right there. But also you get the controversial 1994 Royal Rumble match. Uh, this is when Bret Hart and Lex Luger both went over the top rope. I'm going to let you guys make the choice of who you think was the winner. Was it Lex or Brett? I'm going to let you make the choice. And also you get from the 1997 Royal Rumble for the uh, WWF Championship, you get Shawn Michaels taking on the champion. Psycho Sid, uh, this Royal Rumble was in San Antonio, Texas, which is Shawn's hometown. And they had like a big crowd there. And uh, Shawn's family was ringside. And it was just a really great match. And also on disc two, you get from Royal Rumble 2000, you get Kurt Angle taking on a mystery opponent who turned out to be Taz. And uh, also you get some special features. Uh, you get Shawn Michaels talking about when Pamela Anderson was at Royal Rumble 95. And you get a lot of wrestlers talking about when Mae Young won the... Uh, uh, Miss Royal Rumble swimsuit competition, and also you get uh, Ric Flair talking about his uh, return back in 2002, and uh, also you get Batista talking about when he won the Rumble in 2014 and basically just got booed out the building, but uh, 
That's on disc two, and on disc three, you get the 2001 Royal Rumble match itself. This is when Stone Cold won the Rumble for uh, third year. I believe Stone Cold is the only person who's ever won the Royal Rumble like three times. And also, you might remember from the 2001 Royal Rumble, this is when Drew Carey entered the Rumble. And also, you get the 2007 Royal Rumble match. Also, you get uh, from Royal Rumble 2013, The Rock taking on CM Punk for the WWE Championship. And from the Royal Rumble 2016, you get uh, Becky Lynch taking on the Divas Champ, Charlotte. Those are all the matches that come with the set. Um, I highly enjoyed this set right here. I picked it up at Walmart. It was like 20 something dollars. Uh, but for some of you really die-hard Royal Rumble fans, I would highly recommend getting the Royal Rumble Anthology. But for this disc right here to get the story and, you know, some uh, Royal Rumble matches included with it, hey, I would pick it up. And I highly enjoyed watching this set right here. And I always love it when the WWE puts out stuff like this. And I hope they put out more stuff. I would love to know the the story of the Survivor Series and the SummerSlam. I would love for the WWE to do stuff like that in the future. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Subscribe to my channel. And also let me know what was your favorite Royal Rumble match. Uh, growing up. Let me know. But guys, I'm Jamming Music Man. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time.